So we have put gelatin in a cake. We have put mashed potato in a cake. Today we are putting a tin of tomato soup in a cake. Hello everybody, I'm Miss Manwan. Welcome to my channel. Today I am making another vintage Christmas recipe and we are making a magic cake from 1960. There are a couple of variations of the magic cake, but what makes it magic, you ask? Tomato soup. The recipe we will be using today came from a sponsored advert by Campbell's Soup, specifically for their tomato soup, which you can still buy today. And it is Christmas themed, which is what makes it perfect for today's vintage cooking adventure. Of course, before we start, the first thing we need to do is aprons on. The first thing we need to do now is set our oven to 180 degrees or 350 Fahrenheit. So the recipe asked me to grease a tube pan, which is a flat sided, basically a donut, almost like a bun tray, but without the ripples in it. I do have a bun tray, but I think I might just make it into this normal flat side pan. Hey guys, it's a voiceover Mon Mon. So let's begin by adding one and three quarters of a cup of all purpose flour into our bowl and one cup of sugar. We are following that by three teaspoons of baking powder and then half a teaspoon of ground cloves, half a teaspoon of cinnamon and half a teaspoon of nutmeg. We're going to go ahead and whisk the dry ingredients together and once combined we are going to add half a cup of shortening. I have to go to a special baking shop just for this and we're going to add half a can of Campbell's tomato soup. I'm going to go ahead and whisk that all together using my hand beater. Now the audio cut out on this section but my hand beater died and started shooting shards of metal into my mixture. I originally thought it was glitter and I realized I had to go to the shops and start again. I am back from the shops and I have a brand new can of tomato soup and my mum's hand mixer. So we are going to just speed run this. Let's go. Flour, sugar, Baking powder, cloves, cinnamon, nutmeg, mix, mixed, half a cup of shortening. Wow, you have a turbo function? Wow. Wow, that's powerful. I'm buying a modern one next time. I now have to add two eggs, which were freshly laid by my chickens this morning, and the rest of the soup. Let's go. Now it's time for our fruit and our nuts to go in and I forgot about the walnuts so we're just doing fruit. If only it smelt better, it still smells really strongly of tomatoes, in fact that's all I can smell. Hopefully it doesn't taste like tomatoes when it's done. Let's pour her into our pan. The cake is now in the oven and it will be there for an hour and 15 minutes. I will check it at the one hour mark just to see how it's going because I'm worried the tin difference might change it a bit. I'm gonna go have a break. I'll see you guys in an hour and a bit. One hour later. So my cake was in the oven for about an hour and I did the skewer test and it came out clean so I popped her out. I don't think she needed the extra 15 minutes and as you can see she's quite browned around the edges, so I've been watching way too much great, like Great British Bake Off, 
Poor Holly would be like, mm mm, too brown, Mom. Too brown. I am now going to whip up my frosting, and that is basically cream cheese, powdered sugar, and some vanilla and milk. So let's get that going. done this is the cake that broke me but we got there in the end i am so excited to try this magic cake so let's have a slice i mean it looks like carrot cake so let's hope it tastes like carrot cake You can definitely taste it in there, but it does taste like carrot cake. I don't understand. I have some confusion. I mean, it's not bad, but it's also not the greatest thing ever. It's okay. Okay. Um, it's, it's good. I'm going to, I'm going to go for it's good. If you like tomatoes. And cake. And you've always wanted them to have a marriage together. All right, well, that is everything that I have time for you guys today. Thank you for joining me on another vintage cooking adventure. This one was certainly an adventure. If you'd like any more information or the original recipe, I have all of that linked in my blog, which is in the description box below. And if you'd like to, please feel free to follow me on any of my social media as well. I will be seeing you guys all next week with a brand new video. Actually, we'll be out on Friday. I'll see you guys on Friday. But until then, be kind, be true, be you, and have a great day. Bye.